and hello guys welcome to the new vlog new day new adventure and now i'm sitting in a ford mustang mac e and i have prepared an adventure for you actually or a challenge i was thinking like uh, today is the uh, 10th of uh, november and uh, we have here eight degrees of celsius so i was thinking how far you have to go to reach snow and do some skiing then so i will go from uh, bergen to the closest place where it's possible to get some snow and i will see how far it will be and how high i have to go to reach it and do some skiing actually because i have a skiing equipment in the back i will show you i think that's gonna be fun yeah so without saying anything more let's go and of course i will do a review of this car i will show you tell you all the numbers and all the stuff what this car is good at and what this car is bad at yeah but instantly I can see it has a sunroof. This is really good. So here we are guys. Let's see what's inside in the trunk. I'll show you. So I have skis, helmet, ski poles, some uh, yeah, cap, uh, skiing shoes and some clothing. Yeah, you can see the trunk is uh, quite spacious. Quite spacious, but uh, the the bad thing about this car is that it has a bump. It's not flat, so you cannot sleep in it. That's the uh, only big issue for me. Because because I like to sleep in the car. I mean, we could go camping. So let's go. Some info before the road trip. I'm sitting in a standard range uh, model, which means with that with a full charge you can uh, go around like 400 kilometers. But currently I have 87% of the battery, which is 326 kilometers of range. And this car is all-wheel drive, so this is good, because we're gonna go to the mountains, into the snow, so all-wheel drive is always good. And it's, uh, it has 351 horsepower, and acceleration is 5.1 seconds, which is great. And I was thinking actually where to go, and I can show you on the map. So I'm standing here now in Bergen. So my plan is to go this road here. And here we have the mountains. And I think here we must have snow. It's uh, quite high, it's like one kilometer, one, one point, one, one point two kilometer in altitude. So we must have snow here. And this is around uh, 160 kilometers away. So let's see if I'm right. Let's go guys. Small update. I'm uh, in a really long tunnel now and uh, I can show you the driving modes or drive modes of the uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E. And actually Untamed mode makes this uh, propulsion sound, artificial one, like fake one. It's really pleasant sound of the engine noise. Look, I will show you now. So here, it's uh, three modes. Yes, now it's on. And now listen to the noise. I will just accelerate. Listen. Can you hear? It's really pleasant noise. And when you, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it has this uh, like orange color on the sides like untamped horse the Mustang <laughs> it's really cool cool noise one more time maybe you can hear it I'm not sure really nice weather I mean it's raining heavy and I need the uh, snowing heavy let's see maybe we'll find somewhere when we go higher, it starts snowing, so we need to go higher. Really beautiful church, as you can see. I guess I will go to Circle K, it's uh, right there, in front there. Circle K. Oops. Bumpy road. Feels like I'm going to refuel, but I'm not. I'm with electric car. No, I, I don't need these pumps. <laughs> so guys, look what I got from my gas station. A burger. 
this is chicken burger. Mm. Let's taste it. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Really good. Mm. Okay, I will eat and just drive. See you soon. Okay, guys, and uh, while I'm in the uh, gas station, I can update you with the numbers. So I am, I can show you. <laughs> I did this trip, not this trip, this trip. So I did 81 kilometer. Actually, it should be around uh, 90 kilometers because uh, I've started this uh, trip computer a bit later. So I drove 90 kilometers and here I still have 221, which is more than enough. And yeah, uh, from this you can see I used average 23 kilowatt hours. And it's really cool that they show uh, separate, like 21% for climate, 66 for route, 5% uh, for accessories, I guess music or something, and external temperature, yeah, 8. 8% uh, and this is the back of the car packed with the skis ski poles some photo equipment helmet yeah so that's me on a journey to the snow let's hit the road I guess and find that snow let's go guys <laughs> So now we are at 737 meters above sea level. Yes, it's white, look. We reached the snow, but still not enough. Let's go higher. jump out it's snowy <laughs> have to jump out oh my god look, look at this. This is everywhere. so nice the car looks nice in the snow like that whoa right cool Okay guys, I have I found a spot. So I just need to change and we can go skiing. I'm ready. Yes. Let's do this. Let's go. I hope you can hear me clearly as it is a bit windy but yeah I'm at the top let's see some rocks some here I am Woo -hoo! and the car is down there and we do ski let's do it I will not fall. Another ski. Look, I'm ready. 
It's a road. <laughs> I'm on a road. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the car. So, I skied on the uh, 10th of uh, November. 10th of November. Here's my skis. Here is the road. And my mic is uh, full of snow. <laughs> full of snow. Okay. Let's go. I can take these skis off. Every time, what I cannot miss is a uh, night photography. So I am actually now taking photos towards things like a cabin. Turn it there, that direction. Maybe you can see the in the light there. There is a cabin. So I will just take a few more shots and see how they look like. So, mission accomplished. Snow has been found and I have been skiing. Great. And now, what is not great is my window. <laughs> look to this. <laughs> I have to clean it off, otherwise I will not see anything there. Okay, let's go and clean it to outside. Jump out! Oh nice, really nice. Okay. Yeah, it will melt away actually. Because we're going down the mountain. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. See how the doors opens? Oh shit. Yeah. So, I have a hundred kilometers of range, so I will definitely charge in uh, WOS. And I need some heat. You have to it too. Yeah, it's okay. Let's go. Guys, I'm thinking to stop one waterfall because I have a flashlight maybe I could light it up and see if it's full of water or not because now it's uh, pretty dark and you cannot see if it's uh, full or not so I'll just go and check it out with you I guess why the fuck it's closed what? Okay. Maybe then it's not possible. Uh, let's see, just turn around. I actually found the spot where to park. Let's take the flashlight and go and check it out. I thought the camera is... Uh... Let's see, let's go. If you can hear it guys, the noise, it's a waterfall. I will light it up. It's a bit foggy. But look at this. Look at that. Right there. It's actually hard to see now. But it's there. You see all the sparkles. Not that bright. <laughs> but it is there. It's there. Okay. Let's go back to the car. And it's a good time to check the closest uh, charging station because I have 94 kilometers which is not enough to reach Bergen let's see so here is my navigational window next EV charge okay it's quite many yeah let's go there and it's time to, to charge guys Okay, let's see what info we got. Here you can see some info here. 27% and now it's charging it. Oh, look at this. 
it's not like with the high-end IN5. It went straight to 111, and the max charging uh, power for the for the Mustang Mach E is 150 kilowatts. So it <laughs> it just started instantly with the 105 now. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, let's charge it. This beauty. It actually looks really nice. Uh, this uh, Mustang Mach E. The, the styling is nice. I like the front. And I can tell you some uh, more numbers. Maybe we should sit in a car. I will, I will tell you. This model costs 492,000 Norwegian luck, which is around yeah, 50,000 euros, approx. Seats are comfortable. I mean, uh, now I was driving like 200 kilometers. It's uh, yeah, really good. Lots of space here in front also. Don't have any complaints about that. Uh, interior is also pretty nice. Of course, it's dark. I would I would prefer the light skin interior, not like black with the red stitches. And the best is the sunroof. I love this sunroof. I mean, it's so nice. I mean, sunroof is really important part of the car. And yeah, you have some compartments here. You can just start, do a stargazing. Really, really nice. Love it. Let's go and see. Charging. Charging progress is... So it's 100 kilowatts. And now I have 40% of the battery. So it's actually charging pretty, pretty fast. I mean, faster than a uh, high-end Ionic 5, which uh, is supposed to charge at 220 kilowatts. Okay, guys, uh, it passed like 15 minutes, I think. It's enough for me to reach Bergen. So I will go and stop the charging. And let's see what range we have. Here we are. And we have 24 kilowatts and you see 15 minutes. So I just push stop landing. Let's start the engine and see what we have. So we have 195 kilometers and it's 100 to the uh, Bergen. So <laughs> more than enough. Let's hit road. Something happened on the road. It might be uh, flooding because of that uh, heavy rain. I just stopped. Uh, one guy uh, told me that uh, there is a altern alternative route to go around something somewhere. I I'm not sure what. I will. I will show you if it will be possible to see. But there is something happening. Yeah, it's always in Norway. There is like landslides, rock slides. So much stuff going on. I mean, it's it's actually pretty dangerous sometimes to drive on. Uh, like this when it's raining or you can you can actually die so it says stinks oh yeah so uh, it is a rock slide this is what I thought when it rains so much you get these rock slides I mean it's so easy it just uh, washes away the soil and then yeah uh, there is uh, there, there has been before like really big rock slides and uh, landslides even uh, one guy actually died because of a landslide so it's pretty sad but that's that's a life now the train is in the way I have to wait and I'm on the bridge okay it's going away adventure trip home yes 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 and here And this is actually, guys, what happened on the road. Look at this rock. It felt straight on the road. I mean, you could die, easily die of this. And we are back to Bergen, guys. So the road trip is almost over, but I will go uh, to one place and I will show you around the car. You can see the car from like this. It's really nice, right? Look at these lights. I love this lighting look when it's without. Looks really nice. 
just to sum up the trip, I drove 291 kilometer. Here you can see. Info. Uh, yeah, I drove 291 kilometer, uh, like five hours, but now it's a running engine. And I used actually 23 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So now I have 73 kilometers left on a battery. And yes, so I think that's all. Nothing more to mention. Yeah, okay, let's jump out. If I have to sum up, it was a really nice trip to the mountains, to the snow. It drove me there and it's because of a uh, four wheel drive. I was really relaxed on these uh, slippery roads. So it's a really great car, I would say. And in comparison to high-end Ionic 5, of course, it doesn't have a power outlet, but acceleration, uh, styling, I like styling, but I don't like that it, uh, it doesn't have uh, flat uh, seats when you flip them, so. And leave a comment in the comment section below what do you think about the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Uh, you can compare it with the high-end Ionic 5 or Tesla Model Y. Uh, mostly from this car, what I would say, I like styling. It looks really nice, like angry, aggressive. Uh, driving, also really comfortable and sporty. I was like cornering and really nice. Uh, it feels so stable on the corners. So with that said, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.